Hello, I am Ahmed Nasruddin and I'll be presenting Graph Sprints, a low latency node embedding framework on continuous time dynamic graphs. This work was developed at FITSAI together with my co authors. Graphs are everywhere, representing data in various domains, ranging from finance to healthcare, social media, and others. They represent the data as nodes and edges, and they help understand the structure of the relationships and the flow of information within the network. Most of real-world graphs are dynamic, meaning that they change over time, adding an extra layer of complexity. And in order to extract information from these graphs, node embedding techniques need to be harnessed in order to reduce the dimensionality of the complex graph structure and represent nodes in an embedding space so that it can be leveraged by machine learning models. Typical node embedding approaches can be divided into two main categories, either not random walk based or neighborhood aggregation based. And to deploy such methods on a production environment, a pipeline like this one needs to be considered. Starting from a stream of edges, for instance, in the financial domain, assuming a graph where nodes are accounts and edges are transactions between these accounts, every time a transaction happens, we need to update the graph, generate the node embeddings for the involved nodes, and then the updated embeddings can be used by the classifier that will generate a score depending on the task in hand. One issue with this scenario is that the node embedding techniques are time consuming. And therefore, it's, it's infeasible to deploy such a pipeline on a production environment that demands real-time decisions. In order to address this high latency, APAN algorithm proposes that we remove the node embedding component from the critical path and perform, perform the embedding asynchronously. So when a transaction happens, the classifier will, rather, will leverage outdated embeddings to generate a score. And because of this, then we they achieve low latency, of course, because the again because the, we don't need to perform the node embeddings anymore in the critical path. However, the classifier is not using the most up to date information, and this could uh, cause less accurate decisions. <clears throat> so the research question here is: How can we obtain node embeddings from continuous time dynamic graphs in low latency while using the most up to date information? And here comes our graph sprints method to fill the gap by obtaining embeddings in low latency while using the most up-to-date information. Going into the details of our method and starting by the intuition. So the intuition behind graph sprints is from the random walk based feature extraction methods where given a dynamic graph uh, growing over time where every edge has a timestamp associated in order to obtain a node embedding for the node A after the arrival of this edge A to B at timestamp 5, a set of random walks will be launched starting from A. For instance, a random walk could be A, B, C, D. Then this walk, or the features collected during this walk, could be uh, used in an embedding function that will generate an embedding to, to represent the node A. Of course, this is a very simplified example. And we can see that, that an approach like this one will be very expensive due to the need to perform the random walks. In graph sprints, instead of performing the random walks, we propose an approximation for these walks uh, in a way that is similar to the moving average. So given the same example graph, and since the graph is being built over time, it starts at timestamp zero, let's say with node D that is has a, a uniform uh, embedding. And at timestamp two, when the node C arrives, we can generate an embedding for the node C using the features of this H and, and looking only at the uh, embedding of the uh, uh, of its direct neighbor with, with which it shared the H, which is D in this case. And then after timestamp four, when node B arrives, similarly, so to obtain an embedding of the node B, we will use the features of the edge and then the 
the latest embedding of the node C to generate an embedding of the node B. So notice that now to generate an embedding of the node B, we didn't need to perform the walk and visit node D anymore because the embedding of C already has information about D. And finally, at timestamp five, when we want to obtain an embedding for the node A, we, we just need to fetch the latest embedding of the node B and together with the edge features, we can uh, generate an embedding for the node A. So formally speaking, in order to obtain a, an embedding for a certain node at timestamp T, we only need its previous state. We need the state of its direct neighbor, this the neighbor with whom it shared the, the arriving edge, and also the features of this arriving edge. About the alpha and beta, they are tunable parameters that control how quickly all the information is forgotten. And delta is a function that encodes the edge features into a vector of the same length as the uh, state or the embedding vector. Going into uh, the results. So in order to assess the performance of our method, we use five different data sets, three external ones uh, from various domains like education and social media, and two internal data sets from the domain of anti-money laundering. These data sets, they have different sizes. So starting from 150,000 uh, edges to around 2 million edges. And we use two tasks, the node classification and link prediction. And about evaluation metrics, we use Ria under the rock curve for the um, for both for node classification and link prediction, and also for link prediction we use one extra measure which is average precision. And since Graph Sprints is a graph feature extraction engine we, that generates node embeddings, we need a classifier that uses the generated features and learns the task in hand. For this paper, we chose to use a neural network consisting of dense layers and normalization layers and skip connections every two lens layers. We compare against three uh, state-of-the-art graph neural networks, namely TGN uh, Attention and TGN ID and Judy. About then the results obtained in the node classification task, here we show the results in the external data sets. So the y-axis represents AUC and the x-axis represents runtime. And so the best models are the ones on the top left corner, meaning that they achieve the highest AUC while being the fastest. Here we show two variations of our graph sprints method, the GS, the red, and the blue dots. And we can see, for instance, in Reddit, that graph sprints is almost 10 times faster while achieving a 2.3 increase in AUC compared to TGN attention baseline. Still in the node classification task, in the now using the anti-money laundering data sets, here due to privacy concerns, we don't uh, show the actual identity of the financial institutions nor the actual AUC, and instead we report relative gain in the AUC compared to baseline that does not use any graph information. And here we can see that the best model and the two data sets is one of our uh, variations of graph sprints. In the link prediction experiments, we use the three uh, external data sets, where in both scenarios, the transductive and inductive, where inductive have the condition that the uh, nodes in test were never seen in training. In these data sets, we, for instance, in the MOOC data set, we can see that our graph sprints achieves the best AUC and average precision. However, surprisingly, in the other two data sets, our performance was below state-of-the-art baselines. And this is something that we leave for future work to investigate and improve. An essential characteristic of our graph sprints method is that it is not affected by the graph size since we only need the two nodes that were involved in the arriving edge and no lookups uh, operations are being uh, performed 
so that the so we can see here and compare to TGN when the size or the number of edges of the uh, network increases, our graph sprint's runtime remains constant while the TGN uh, runtime increases. So, therefore, the speed ups are higher with bigger networks. To conclude, in this paper, we present graph sprints, a streaming low latency graph feature engineering method for continuous time dynamic graphs. Our experimental results show that in the node classification task, we could be up to 10 times faster while achieving a 5% increase in AUC compared to higher latency graph neural networks. On the link prediction data uh, task and in certain data sets, our results were not state of the art and this is to be further investigated in future work. Thank you for your attention. These are the references that were used in this presentation.